They say that war changes the man. That war has a everlasting effect on a man mentally and physically once the war is done. They say you form bonds of brotherhood during war and you become close to those you fight in the foxhole with. Now I know you know professional wrestling it's entertainment. It's you know scripted whatever you may want to call it but back in the 80s early 90s many men went to war in the old NWA that eventually became WCW and finally many 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 years later the uh, war is being told and if you don't know my name by now my name is Hollywood Joe Williamson from Hollywood's World of Sports and I bring you the latest WWE DVD review WCW War Games WCW's most notorious matches and I gotta tell you this DVD right here pretty much promotes why WCW was so great at one point to me to me this was the strength of WCW this was probably the best invention that WCW came up with. It was the best match that WCW came up with. And I can tell you, I've watched all the matches now. And I got to tell you, there is nothing as brutal back then as the early War Games matches in the 80s. I mean, you had the Four Horsemen going against the likes of Sting and the Road Warriors and the key to Volkov and Lex Luger when he finally turned on the Horsemen and you know you had the Dangerous Alliance Paul Heyman's guys uh, which was a huge thing uh, you had a lot of legends and Hall of Famers uh, go into those two rings with the cage hanging underneath and they bled and they sacrificed I mean there were injuries that you know I'm sure had an effect on certain guys for a long time and it's funny um, you know I remember back before Wrestle Wrestlemania the first Wrestlemania they had a uh, you know a big big TV event called the war to settle the score between Hulk Hogan and Roddy Roddy Piper. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was the real war to settle the score. So many um, people went through this cage. I mean, we're talking about the NWO, Sting, Lex Luger, the Road Warriors, uh, the leader of the Four Horsemen, Ric Flair, uh, Dusty Rhodes, um, I mean, even guys like Ravishing Rick Rude, uh, you know, um, Dr. Death Steve Williams, Fabulous Freebird, Simone SWAT Team, The Midnight Express, uh, just there are so many people that went through this cage. And even, even at the end, even the very last, you know, War Games themed match, which I believe was, let me look at the date here. Uh, War Games 2000, um, it was Monday Nitro, September 4, 2000, it was actually the, uh, triple, uh, the triple cage thing that you saw in Ready to Rumble, and even when WWE tried to turn that garbage, they couldn't, 
because it was such a classic, classic match. And I got to tell you, if you are a WWE fan, or you've been loyal to WWE, or you're an ECW fan, TNA fan, Ring of Honor fan, if you have never, ever seen anything from WCW history, this is the DVD you have to get. This is the DVD that shows, you know what? They could be as brutal as ECW. They could, uh, they were as brutal as the Attitude Era was with some of the violent matches. I mean, War Games was a dog fight. It's exactly what it was. It was war. And when I think of, I mean, when I think of uh, War Games, I think of, you know, two men that started it off more than any other, more than any other, and that's Arn Anderson and Dusty Rhodes. And, you know, what a, what a great showing of fortitude by both men. I mean, they went in there, started out war games every time that they were on opposing teams, and they just kicked the crap out of each other. And I got to tell you, if I'm a WWE fan, like I'm, most people are, that's pretty much the only thing left. Um, you know, I know TNA's tried bringing it back with Lethal Lockdown. And Lethal Lockdown, don't get me wrong, is, real, is a really, really awesome match. But I really think WWE should bring back War Games. Have it, like, be, you know, War Games at Survivor Series. You know, since it's almost the same kind of concept. Um, but, like I said, if you are a WWE fan, a younger WWE fan especially... And never got to experience WCW War Game. Like I said, War Games is the DVD to get if you want to see some of the great uh, WCW matches and some of the superstars that were in uh, WCW. Uh, like I said, I spent the whole day watching this, and I just I'm just in amazement of why WWE never brought this match back in some capacity. I mean, I know they kind of did with the Elimination Chamber and what have you, but, you know, even even having War Games in just one ring, like under the uh, resurfaced Hell in a Cell or whatever, I mean, even that would be really, really fun to watch, and uh, it would be extraordinary. Um, I'm not going to spoil the matches for you. Um, like I said, as I've already told you, who uh, who was involved. Uh, one side note, though, I think this is the first DVD in, I think, five or probably six years that Chris Benoit has actually been in. Um, it was the 1997 War Games, and I was actually surprised that they didn't try editing them out more. Um, they left the full commentary of him in there. And props to WWE for acknowledging that Benoit is still part of wrestling history. And he did still take part in some matches. So uh, maybe maybe that's a good step in the right direction for uh, WWE fans. So with that being said, WCW War Games, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I uh, just am still in amazement that um, it took WWE this long to put this DVD out. Um, yeah, um, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just. It's one of them things that you have to understand. Once you watch six hours of wrestling footage straight. Uh, it's one of them things where you kind of like, oh boy, you're drained and you don't know how to comprehend it all. But like I said, um, you want to see blood, sweat, and tears, dedication, fortitude, stamina, uh, brutality, um, 
it's it's basically what the tagline says. WC it's WCW's most notorious matches. And it's exactly what they are. So pick it up, it's available now. Uh again, WCW War Games. Very, very uh awesome compilation of the best match in WCW history. So uh, with that being said now, my name is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports, signing off for the night, and uh, let me know your thoughts on War Games, let me know who, if WWE ever brought War Games back, who you would like to see in a War Games match, and what your favorite War Games match was in WCW, so uh, with that being said, uh, Hollywood's World of Sports, your source for all things sports, and remember as always, Controversy doesn't come without criticism.